Hi Cancer, I wanted to do a quick reading for you guys. This is your bonus reading for the month of July. Congratulations, you guys won the bonus round um, along with Virgo and Sagittarius, but you guys were number one um, with almost a thousand views, so thank you so much. Really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. You guys used to be number one for a very long time and they kind of dropped off, but making a comeback, making a comeback. All right. All the information you need to know about me, Cancer, is in the description box as far as my social media, how to book a reading with me, um, prices, uh, how to become a part of my Patreon and get extra perks, um, my guidance package, and all of that. All of that's below for you to check out if you wish to do so, okay? All right, you guys. Let's get a few cards out. I'm trying to decide which deck I want. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter reading. Um... I really suck at short readings, so we're going to try to do this within 10 or 15 minutes, but um, this is for you guys, okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys right now. Not for you. You know what? <laughs> All right. Spirit said, no, stop right there. Those cards. All right. I feel like there's something here that doesn't have the ability to regenerate itself. It doesn't have the ability to, um, it's almost like there's something here that kind of needs to die out. So something new can come in its place. Uh, instead of, you know, thinking, oh, this person or this thing, you know, can just transform maybe into something else and it, you know, maybe we can make it different. I'm feeling for a lot of you, it's more of just like, no, this thing needs to just be, you know, um, either walked away from or left behind because I feel like we have this not for you card. Okay. There's something here that's no longer an energetic match for you. Um, maybe at one point it was, and you know, I think that the things that come into our life are always there for us to learn from whether it's a friendship or a relation or a love relationship um, or a job or whatever it is for you, there's something here that felt like it was for you at one point. Energetically, it was. Energetically, it was a match for you. You vibrated towards it. It vibrated towards you. But now it's no longer a match. You have leveled up in a sense, okay? This is, and I see you've leveled up because we have this round and round card. This is about dealing with those lessons, okay? You've learned some lessons and you've um, broke some cycles and now you're moving into a different cycle and you're ready to level up past whatever this this thing is. You have manifested this with this co-create card, okay? You are manifesting bl blessings right now. A lot of you are working like with the universe, doing affirmations, um, calling things in, manifesting, you know, the things that you've always wanted. And you're doing that in a very powerful way. And I see that with this co-create, right? With this egg, this is about birthing something new. You know, the eggs represent like fertility, but also, um, you know, birth and turning something that went from nothing into something, right? I feel like you guys are are doing that, whether it's some kind of business, um, or you're calling in something, a new relationship or a new love, um, or you're just ending cycles in your life of, uh, you know, toxic cycles in your life and you're, you're leveling up spiritually, mentally, emotionally, all of that, even physically. Okay. And you got this blessed card because there's, you're calling in some blessings right now. You're, you're manifesting some beautiful things. Um, so I feel like, you know, whenever that happens, whenever we level up, some of the things in our life have to fall away. Some of the things in our life we have to realize are no longer an energetic match for us because we've broken those cycles. We've learned those lessons and then we move on. Nothing in life um, is guaranteed to be forever. A lot of things in this life are temporary um, and they're here for a certain time and then you know, they're, they're meant to be here for a certain time and then be gone at some point. Um, that's definitely one of the hardest lessons I've had to learn, but it's definitely what it is. Okay. I just saw the friendship card. 
So some of you are having to leave some friends behind or a friend. All right. What are some key words for cancer right now that they need to be aware of, spirit? Key words for cancer right now. Okay, we have doubt. It was in the reverse, so I released the need to know all the answers. And then we have purpose on the bottom here. So I feel like you guys are starting, you guys are releasing a lot of doubt. You're starting to really see what you're made of and you're starting to really come to this place where you are no longer doubting yourself. You're, you're fully starting to believe in yourself. And it's because I feel like a lot of you are coming into this place of purpose. Okay, you're starting to see what you're truly meant to do on this earth. And, um, you know, you guys had to go through certain cycles and certain lessons with certain people to bring you to this place. Okay, and if you're vibing with this um, reading, then you know what I'm talking about. You know the, the people and the lessons and the jobs and the different places you've had to go to come to this place that you're at. Okay, I feel like a lot of you are coming to um, a very powerful place in your life. A place where you have really overcome some obstacles and you've gone through some hard times and faced some hard things to get to this place. Okay, and really started believing in yourself and seeing what you're truly here and meant to do on this, on this earth. I had something that I was going to say in my mind, but now I can't remember what it is. All right, we'll figure it out. All right, let's get some tarot in here and see what's going on. Okay. What is the uh, message for Cancer's highest good spirit? There you are. Look at that. King of Cups. Okay, whether you're male or female. Some of you, um, whether you're male or female, you could be very much in your like masculine energy right now. Possibly uh, going after your goals, going after your dreams, making things happen. Um, you know, the, the, the divine masculine energy is all about doing and going and getting and making things happen. It's action oriented. The divine feminine energy is receptive, um, allowing, you know, but I do see you guys, you know, some of you could definitely be the, um, divine masculine energy here, but there you are. And with this five of cups in the reverse, yeah, releasing regrets and releasing past hurts and wounds and all of those things that you have carried with you, I think, for a while, but now you're you're overcoming that. Some of you have a fire sign coming into the picture or already in the picture, okay? Leo Sagittarius Aries. Some of you could be connecting with a fire sign. We've got the Seven of Wands, which shows me that you guys are in a place where you're looking out for your best interest. You're looking out for your highest good and you are, you know, a lot of readers say, oh, this is about being defensive, right? But that's not the whole picture of this card. The card is really more about um, defending your energy and protecting your energy. Um, there's a, another deck which shows her like meditating on this pillow. It's the Light Seers deck and she's got this like kind of, it looks like a, a crystal ball around her. But it's almost like she's protecting her um, her energy. And there's all these wands coming at her from all these different directions. And she's just here like this. And I feel like that's where you guys are. You know, like you're not you're in a place where you're not going to let all of these things disturb you anymore. You're not going to let all those things affect you anymore. You are in a place where you are now, you know, protecting your energy and really understanding how to do so. But to do that. I feel like there is something in your life that is still hard for you to let go of. And I feel like right now you're being called to let go of it. Um, to be able to level up, okay? Because you're not vibrating on the same frequency anymore. And some of you, this is going to be something really hard um, to let go of. But I think for those of you who are resonating with this reading, you're going to know what I'm talking about, okay? 
If you are resonating with this reading, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Um, also hit that thumbs up button if you are vibing with the reading. That does help circulate this reading into the search engine so more people can see it, more people can find it. That really helps me out as a you know, a free way of helping out the channel, hitting that subscribe, subscribe button and the thumbs up. Also, you guys can um, feel free to leave me a comment. I try to respond to everyone's comments and I will, you know, talk back. If you say hi, I will say hi back. So we have the two of cups in the reverse. Okay, so, so for some of you, there is a partnership here. There is a love relationship that you are starting to feel like you need to release. And for some of you, this is going to be really hard because maybe you felt like this person was the one at one point. Um, maybe some of you like aren't with this person anymore. What another story I'm getting is some of you aren't with this person anymore, but you feel you've hold held on to the idea that this person's going to come back into your life. And for some of you, for you to be able to go to this next level in your life, there needs to be a release of this idea that this person is going to come back. Um, it's letting go. Okay. Letting go of the need to control the outcome. It doesn't mean that this person's never going to come back. It's just releasing the idea or releasing the energy and the attachment to the idea. Um, and allowing things to flow in their natural way and allowing things to happen when they're meant to happen. Okay. Some of you are needing to protect yourself. And this is what this is saying, you know, protecting your energy um, is going to require you to recognize that this person maybe isn't for you right now or just anymore at all. Wow. Yes. Look at this. We got the 10 of swords, ace of cups, the emperor and the queen of pentacles. Okay. I feel like This is, this could definitely end up, you know, this could end in being like a painful, this could be a painful ending for you. All right. For some of you, this is going to be a painful ending. This is going to be something that, um, for some of you, you are actually betrayed by this person. Um, maybe they just haven't been treating you right, or you just, you had a painful ending with them at some time in the past. All right. And you haven't quite energetically let this person go but you're needing to at this point. But what I'm seeing here happen, okay, for those of you who are able to do this, we've got this Ace of Cups coming in. And this Ace of Cups represents a, a, a initially love for yourself, okay? So when we release things that are no longer for our highest good, we really speak to ourselves that we love ourselves. It's, it's a message to our highest self, like, I love you enough to release something that I know isn't for my highest good. And with that act of self-love, I feel like there's um, love that could possibly potentially come in. You know, for those of you who are holding on to hope that something's going to come back to you and you watch readings all the time about it and you're obsessed with it and you're thinking like, okay, this person's going to come back, this person's going to come back. You have to know... And I don't, I don't, I don't think this is about all readers. Of course, there's a lot of really good readers on YouTube, but sometimes, you know, the most popular message is they're going to come back to you. And YouTube readers know that they can get a lot of views by saying, Hey, this person's going to come back to you. Don't worry. But that's not always the case. That's not always the truth. And I feel like, you know, my mission as a reader on YouTube is to, Speak the message for your highest good, whether it feels good or not. And for some of you, um, it's it's this is going to be a painful ending and a release of the past and a release of this energy that you've been needing to release for a very long time. But what that what that's going to do, it's going to end a cycle for you when you do release it. It's going to end a cycle and it's going to open you up to your own love for yourself and it's going to open up you up to new love. 
And we've got the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like this is going to open you up to something extremely stable. Okay, for some of you, um, if you're the Divine Masculine, you're showing up as the Emperor here. To me, this is about taking back control of your life. But this could also represent an Aries coming in. Or we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here on the Divine Feminine side. Okay, Earth Energy represent, representing stability, even financial stability. Security, grounded energy, you know, the um, the wife of the deck, right? The emperor is the father of the deck. So it's like this divine masculine energy and this divine feminine energy that's very, very stable and grounded and secure. And for some of you, that that energy can absolutely come in for you if you're willing and able to release this past person. I really, really believe for a lot of you, this is a situation where you've been waiting for somebody to come back to you, okay? What else does Cancer need to know in regards to the situation? We've got the Nine of Wands. So you've been through a lot here with this person, okay? And yeah, this is... Um, yeah. Yeah. This is a release of needing to control things, needing to have your way and needing to make things happen the way that you want them. There's a release here that needs to happen of that energy, okay? You've been through enough. You've been through a lot with this person. You've been through the fire. You've been through hell and back with this situation, okay? And I feel like this release is going to be absolutely 100% necessary because things are not going to, you know, for the most part, work out in the way that some of you have really imagined and wanted it to. But when that's released, I feel like this, it definitely opens up the energy for something else to come in, okay? And puts you in a place where you are finally depending on yourself for your happiness. And when you're in that place of, you know, I just need me to make me happy and I'm happy on my own. I'm happy as, you know, just me. I, I absolutely feel like that could op the, open the door for something else to come in, a new beginning for you and even just accepting your own self and loving your own self. We got the four of wands in reverse. Some of you, this is a twin flame that you've been waiting for, okay? Or somebody you considered a twin flame. Some of you have been waiting for this person to rush back in, come back into the picture and, you know, take control of the situation and say, hey, I'm like ready, okay? But that is showing up as like, not going to happen. So what's the next step for cancer here? We've got temperance. Okay. For some of you, you could be um, opening yourself up to this energy, this Sagittar a Sagittarius coming into the picture. Okay. But the temperance card is really just talking about patience, self-control, balance, Balancing out your energies because I think that things have gotten out of balance in regards to this person that you've wanted back into the picture. And releasing this is going to restore the balance back into your life. You're going to start feeling a lot better energetically, um, which I feel like is going to start allowing things to flow in that are really truly meant for you. Okay, let's get a couple of the... Yeah, look at that. Nothing will come of the situation. Nothing will come of the situation. And then we have bring love into the situation. Okay, this is about loving yourself enough to release what you know is no longer meant for you. Any other messages for Cancer's Highest Good, please, Spirit? There's a whole lot. 
All right, we've got balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon and Pisces. There's that back to that balance and energetic balance that I was just talking about. Your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to yourself, your commitment to your highest good, your commitment to your own integrity and your love for yourself, okay? We have adjustments are required. So this is going to require an adjustment. This is going to require you to make some changes here and adjust, you know, mentally and emotionally. We have the end of a tough cycle approaches. So that's what I'm talking about. This, this is going to end some kind of cycle for you. And it's going to be able to release that old energy so you can begin this new cycle. And I, I see beautiful things coming in for you. Have faith in your dreams. Okay, have faith that everything's going to work out the way that it's supposed to. And then we have work through your fears. New moon and Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart. Okay, but this there's a lot of fears attached to this situation. Scared of what ifs. You know, what if I let this person go? What if they never come back? What if I never find somebody else, you know, that I love? All of that is so valid, but all of that is stuff that is necessary to work through so you can step into the highest version of yourself and start calling in things that are for your highest good, okay? All right, Cancer, that is your bonus reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, turn on all notifications if you do subscribe. Love you guys so much. All of my information is in the description box if you want a reading or Patreon or any of that. And I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.